Kathy Ann Lewis, and it's time for your faith lift. And I want you to have a little more faith in what you can get out of the Center for Spiritual Living and its community. We have, I have, and we have some focuses. The first of all, first of all, is to help you find hope. Now, what's hope do? <laughs> what good is hope? A lot of good hope is because hope lives in the heart. Hope is what you're what your heart longs for. And yet sometimes we have been so conditioned by failure, so conditioned by what people tell us we're able to do, so conditioned by our past experiences that we don't listen to our hope anymore. And our hope is always the voice of greater things yet to come. So when you participate, whether you're online or you show up in person or you take a class or you just listen to this, <laughs> my purpose is to always give you hope. Not hope that I have, but hope within yourself to help you find that hope. Because that hope filled with the next thing, which is faith, can work miracles. So we also want you to build your faith. These messages what we do on Sundays, what we do in classes, what we do in small groups is for the purpose of you building your faith in what you hope for. Because let me tell you, you have faith. I've talked about this before. We all have faith. Unfortunately, we usually have faith in what we don't wanna have happen. We're pretty sure it's gonna happen. Well, what we're pretty sure is gonna happen will happen and that's faith. <laughs> oh, and then we teach you how to intend a result. How do you work with intention? Intention is not, I'll do this and then this and then this and then this and then this, although you will have to do that. But you let the intention inform you of what's next and next and next and next. So if you see my hands, this is the end. And the end, in the end, is the means. But a lot of times we want to figure out the means before we will actually hold on to the end so that it can pull us towards it. <laughs> we get pulled by an intention, an intention that we've held for good and for the good of others. In fact, actually bad intentions pull us forward too. But you know, my hope is that we all develop our faith in what we're called to accept. And then I have faith that we will start to set intentions that are life sustaining fulfilling and life enhancing. Then we teach you to expect a miracle. I expect miracles. People around me expect miracles. And we kind of have a vibration of the expectation that good's going to happen beyond what we can figure out, beyond what we can make happen. Actually, a miracle is a good thing happening, but it's not a good thing that happened that you made happen. It's way beyond what you could make happen. Then it's a miracle. I expect them and I expect that you can have some. Then we celebrate wins. You know, this is a community that allows you to share your good news because I don't know, maybe you're not like me, but I grew up in a culture where sharing good stuff was bragging. So good stuff would happen to me and I just sort of stuff it. <laughs> I remember even my best friends kind of feeling separate from me if my good was too much, if it was better than theirs. Well, they were good friends, but I think we were all just ignorant of how things work. So, then, so we celebrate wins, and then at this, at this community, the Center for Spiritual Living, we encourage people to share their story in a small group with their prayer partner, with their other partners in life, uh, whether it's a work partner or a living partner, living in, in the same house partner, or, you know, just to share. Ah, celebrate and share the story of how you got there. Because for instance, I got here in this teaching 46 years ago. Ooh, more than that, ah, 48 years ago because somebody shared their story, because somebody wanted other people to have 
the kind of advantages that they had and the advantages started here and then it was in your heart and then it was an expression and boy my life changed just so quickly and so fantastically i'm so grateful that that person shared their story so that's what we're all about and uh, i'd like for you to become more involved whether it's online in a class show up on sunday because boy the juju is good <laughs> However you want to become involved, we will welcome you with open arms. Bye for now. You will do amazing things with the choice each know they brings. And with every step you take, bless the progress that you make. Make the reason that you live is found in every gift you give. Love your life and love your dreams. You will do amazing things. Take a breath and smile.